Oh, we're getting the book event. Nice. What a way to arrive in the system. I love these book events, man. This is something I loved watching in, and playing through in like Pillars of Eternity 1 and 2. I think they were very well done. Uh, in the Pathfinder games as well. The Owlcat's done. I like these. Uh, let me double check here real quick. Before we go through this, I want to make sure that I don't have any things pinging at me. Because we've been going for an hour and a half and I haven't checked anything outside of the game yet. Let's see That music is so good. Sector Coronas Expanse, Region Cineris Maleficum. Location Kranach. Material Picked Report on Events on the Bridge while entering Kiava Gama, recorded by Servo School Watcher the 16th. Start of Picked Recording The Void Ship's Bridge. Sounds of working cogitators and officers' footsteps. The everyday scene is interrupted by an ear-splitting beeping sound, followed by lumens going out. In the dim glow of candles and emergency lights, one of the officers in frame cries out. Another falls to her knees, clutching her head. Over the beeping of voxes, shouts can only just be heard. What's going on? The doors are locked! We've lost contact with all compartments! One of the bridge officers turns to the throne. Lord Captain! The vox stations are malfunctioning and overloading the system. None of our outgoing transmissions are getting through. The incoming ones that do make it are distorted beyond interpretation. The Lord Captain gives the order to... Dot, 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 dot. Um, decipher the incoming Vox transmissions at all costs. Proceed. A team of decryption experts get to work. Data togethers are inserted into sockets as they connect to the cogitators. One of the Vox clerics leans over the console... Another is writing something on a piece of parchment, but then she bursts into maniacal laughter and stabs herself in the eye with a steel quill. Another scream, this time a tech priest who was mid-prayer, tears himself to pieces with his own mechadendrites. More and more lunatics are mutilating themselves and lunging at others. A portion of picked recording damage after contact with an unknown object. An enforcer shoves a rabid servitor away from the Lord Captain as he... Oh, wow. Rush to help the crew, shouting orders. Success! The image on the pict is fuzzy. Nothing but glimpses of people shouting racket and the Lord Captain's orders. Within minutes, the days, the crazed crew members are either dead or bound and unconscious. The officers clustered around the Lord Captain are barely breathing, but unharmed. Scrap code! voice belongs to the on-deck engine seer who has turned the Lord Captain from his station. We've been attacked with a scrap code, a tech heresy designed to corrupt machines. The transmission received from the planet was infected with this taint, and is now running through the ship's veins. Omnissiah, preserve us! The Voidborn officer appears before the Lord Captain once more. Whatever it is that is attacking us, we have a backup procedure that can circumvent the box barrier. In the atrium leading to the bridge, there's a terminal for an isolated system that might still be unaffected. <laughs> a loud pop. The pipes over the officer's heads burst, and a blast of hot air flings the Voidborn away from the Lord Captain and his body slamming straight through a cogitator panel. The picked frame spins uncontrollably, the servo school jolted by the gust. The picked recorder fogs over, the Vox picking up the crackling of electricity in a death cry. Gas on the bridge, a junior attendant shouts, and instantly doubles over, inhaling the poisoned air. The rogue traitor, dot, dot, dot. By the way, guys, this is the, this is the stuff that good CRPGs are made of when they can pull you into the moment with great writing it's it is better when they're voiced and they have cinematic stuff but this is a going back to the roots of any good 
tabletop gameplay where you've had the DM just explaining this massive scene as it's unfolding. You're making choices and dice rolls along the way. Um, I'm going to give the crew the order to evacuate immediately with my persuasion. Success. The rogue trainer personally oversees the evacuation. Bring the plasma cutters. Get the wounded to the exit. The officers repeat his orders. When the servo skull follow the rogue traders, following the rogue trader reaches the doors, they fall to the plasma cutters and crumble outward. The rogue trader is the last to leave the bridge. Leaning on a support beam, the rogue trader takes several deep breaths, trying to flush his lungs with air. Then he straightens, smooths his uniform, and head towards a goal unknown only to him. Or known only to him, sorry. The servo skull follows. It's very much written like a dime store novel, right? The atrium is in a state of panic. Silhouettes skitter about. That's a cool piece of art, by the way. So that's the cogitator. Silhouettes skitter about in a dark hall illuminated only by the flickering of emergency lumens. Curt orders and someone's feverish word of prayer could be heard. Having lost all communication, the beheaded ship is writhing in agony. It takes a while for the Lord Captain to find the cogitator mentioned by the fallen officer. The panel of the isolated terminal is riddled with cracks and bloodstains, and on the floor by the terminal, a tech priest is lying with a heap in a heap with his head smashed and technical liquids mixed with blood oozing out of his ports. The Lord Captain decides to... Dot, 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 dot. Take my chances to restore the terminal. Success. Rogue Trader rips the power key off the Tech Priest's mechadandrite and opens the cover on the terminal. Sparks fly into his face, but he is confident in his manipulation of the tangled wires and clanging levers. After replacing the cover and ensuring that the system is restored, the Lord Captain brings up the required data on the screens. The maintenance bay is sending out hundreds of desperate distress calls that have gone unanswered up to now. When the machines went out of control and started turning people insane, others, driven by some hateful and paranoid logic, started butchering the servants of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The tech priests have sustained heavy losses, but the remains of the cult are still holding the line. Out of everything that's happening on the ship, the situation at the maintenance bay is the most dire. The Lord Captain knows where help is most needed most. He decides to dot 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 head to the maintenance bay by myself. I'm on this. Let's get it done. The rogue trader arrives at a moment too soon. The crew, frightened out of their wits, have already cornered the priests of the Omnissiah and are about to execute them. The Lord Captain stands between the angry mob and the tech priests, his sheer presence already giving the crowd pause. Harshly cutting off any objections to the crew, the rogue trader orders the officers he gathered on the way here to escort the mutineers out and set up a guard post outside the bay, where the tech priests begin to offer desperate prayers to the crippled machine spirits. Return to the bridge. The walk to the bridge is uneventful. The crisis has passed. Although wounded and crippled, the ship nevertheless is returning to normal operations. Life on the bridge is as bustling as ever, even though the people are surrounded by destruction. The senior officers have the situation under control and people have been organized. The emergency crew have already finished repairing the pipes, the technomats are setting up cogitators and consoles, and the healers are bagging up what few corpses there are and examining the wounded. By the comm station, the rogue trader turns, runs, excuse me, the rogue trader runs into the Voxmaster. Praise the Emperor, you're in one piece, Lord Captain. The situation on board is satisfactory. I was just in the middle of setting up comm channels. Soon all the Voxcasters will be fully operational. Another man appears in the picked frame. A junior officer, completely out of breath, carrying a heap of scrolls. The Voxmaster nods at him. Uh, there are reports, Lord Captain. If you find yourself able to return to your station, I can immediately give you a rundown on the state of affairs on the ship. End of the picked recording. So that, that right there, I, I, you know, for some people, a wall of text like that might be boring. But I think those are really cool when they're well done like that because you get a chance to really sink your teeth into the roleplay aspect of it and have these tense moments that are many events between, like, the main space battles and everything else. It's a nice way to break up the tedium of, like, space flight by having events in between that. And then, oh, now we get to go into CRPG and, oh, oh here's some ship-based combat and everything else. Um... That's cool stuff. I'm going to timestamp that out for its own video, actually.